Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Math with Dr. War. Today's mini lesson is on exponential growth and decay, a high emphasis topic on the task examination. Now I taught this a few weeks ago in my class, however, I'm still getting a little bit of questions from students and I wanted to make a little mini video on how to set up your formula and also how to use the calculator to actually calculate if they actually ask for an answer. So let's begin. Now when you have exponential growth and decay, what do you need? You need five things. The first thing, which is most important, you need the formula. So your first step is to write your formula and your formula is y equals a b raised to the x. That's your formula. And it's pretty easy, a, b, and you know, x is all the way at the end of the alphabet. And x is your exponent. Second, from reading your word problem, you have to know who is the starting point. The starting point is your original cost and that is your a. Now B is your growth rate or your decay rate. You can tell whether it's a growth rate by words they use in the problem, such as increase, interest rate. There are certain words that will indicate increase and that makes it a growth rate. Now when you need to find your growth rate B, once you know that it's increasing, just add a hundred percent to the percentage that they give you in the problem. However, when you're going to put it in the formula, you need to change your percent to a decimal. Because in any mathematical work you're doing with percents, you can't use it as is. You must change it to a decimal so that you can perform mathematical calculations. If you have a decay rate, they're going to use words in the problem such as decrease or depreciate. You know that means that your rate is going down. And to find the actual decay rate or decay factor, all you're going to do is subtract from 100% the given percentage in the problem. And again, you must change it to a decimal. And the last thing that they give you is the time, and that's usually in years, and that is represented by your X. And some of the problems on the task test, they'll just want you to be able to set up the problem. Sometimes you might be asked to calculate. So here today, I'm going to set up the problem and also calculate. Let's look at our first problem. Daniel's print shop purchased a new printer for $35,000. Each year it depreciates, loses value at a rate of 5%. What will its approximate value be at the end of the fourth year? Because it loses value, this would be a decay exponential function. So remember what I said, your first step, write the formula y equals to a b raised to the x. Remember, a is your starting point. What are we starting with? $35,000. So $35,000. I'm going to put some parentheses. We identify that it's a decay rate. So because it's decaying, it's losing value, you're going to subtract. So we have 5%, let me go on the side. So I'm gonna take 100% and subtract 5% because remember I said, if it's a decay rate, you wanna take the given percentage in the problem and subtract it from 100. So that gives me 95%. You can't use the 95% as is. We need to change it to a decimal, meaning I'm gonna insert a decimal point and move it two places to the left. 1, 2. So that will be 0.95. This 0.95 will be my decay rate, or some books call it a decay factor. So I'm going to put that here, 0.95. If you want to put the zero in front, you can. I'll put the zero. 
So I have 0 0.95. And then what's the timeline for this? Four years. So that's my formula. 35,000 multiplied by 0 0.95 raised to the fourth power. Now here's the next problem my students had, putting this in the calculator. So this is very simple to put in the calculator. I'm going to enter 35,000. I'm going to multiply by 0 0.95. The 0 0.95 is being raised to the exponent, and it's a 4, which means we're going to need the caret. This is the caret, so I'm going to press that. Notice right here the exponent section is blinking. And I'm going to enter 4. And I'm going to go to the right because I want my cursor right there in the middle and enter. Here is our answer. I'm going to round this to the nearest whole number will be 28,508. So that will be the cost of the printer at year four because the printer is going to depreciate because they're using it constantly. So it's going to lose value. Cassandra bought an antique dresser for $500. If the value of her dresser increases 6% annually, what will be the value of Cassandra's dresser at the end of three years to the nearest dollar? I'm going to write my formula. Y equals A, B raised to the X. Okay, what's my starting point? I'm starting with $500, so I have 500. Okay, 6%, but this is increasing. So because it's increasing, we have here a growth rate. And remember when it's a growth rate, you're going to add 100% to whatever is the given percent in the problem. So I'm gonna take 100% and I'm gonna add it to the 6%. It's going to be 106%, but remember, we need to make this a decimal. So we're going to move the decimal point two places to the left, 1.06. And last, we need the time, and it's three years, and there is my three. My last step, let's put all of this in the calculator to find out what is the value of Cassandra's dresser at the end of three years. We're going to enter 500. If you want to, because there's some folks who like to use the parentheses, that's fine. I'm going to put 1.06, close the parentheses. We need to raise it to the third power, so you need the caret. There's my three. Let's go to the right and then hit enter. And they want to the nearest dollar. If they want to the nearest dollar, they want the nearest hold. So I have 595.508. So that five right here is going to make this five a six. So it's going to be $596. So in three years, that dresser that was originally, she bought for $500, she made a gain of $96. And this is basically how you calculate exponential growth and decay. Step one, you need to write the formula. So you need to memorize the formula. You also have to know who is the starting point. That's the original cost. And you need two important things. You need to identify whether it's a growth rate by looking at the key words in the problem. And if it's a growth rate, take that percent that's in the problem and add 100% to it. If it's a DK from reading the problem, then you're going to subtract from 100% the given percent that's in the problem. And the final thing is the time. And here we set up and we solved. I hope this lesson has been helpful. Good luck on your task examination.